Kaboom, guys. Kaboom. So, what we're doing today is, is nunchaku fitness. Nunchaku fitness. We'll do a little bit of fitness. We're going to do some warm-up. We're going to get straight into it and see what we can manage. So, we're on to the foam. What we're going to do with the foam is we're going to try and build up this. So, we're going forward. To speed up, again, we're doing some speed up work. We're trying to do a little and flick this up, do a bit of speed work. So to start with, guys, what we're going to do is warm up a little bit. Now, people who've been watching, this is day 10. People who've been watching, you're going to do this with me. Nice and fast. It's horizontal change. Let's go, guys. Go. Let's go for 22, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. And what we're going to do now is bend his legs a little bit. So we're going to bend his legs, bend his legs, 10 of them, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're bending his legs, that's what we count. We're not counting the nunchaku, because the nunchaku probably go a little bit faster than the legs bending. All right, so and the next bit now is we're going to do some lunges, and then we're going to get onto the pad and try and get this speed on the pad. So first of all, now what we're going to do is going to lunge that leg forward, trying to touch that knee. Down, keeping the back straight as you can. You see me just bobbing up and down. <clears throat> and one more, and there we've got it. We're gonna warm up now the wrists a little bit more. So we're gonna do what's called a figure of eight. Everybody can do this. You probably do it with your, your dog's lead as a kid. I know I did. With my dog called Sandy. He's a good lad. Labrador, anyway, enough for that. Then we're going in from there, look, into the left side, build up that, then wrists as well, keep them nice and supple. Then we're going to go backwards, so we're still warming up, still doing a little bit of fitness, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go now, and we're running on the spot, doing a falcon, falcon strike. Just running lightly on the spot. Now what we're going to do, guys, is go on to the pad. So hopefully you've got a pad. All we're going to do is a two-strike. Let's do ten of them. Faster. Okay, that's a right two-strike. Let's do a left. So we're doing ten left, ten right. Now what we're going to do is do a falcon. So we're doing quite fast, guys. We're trying to keep this fitness going so we don't have time just to chill out because we don't want to cool down or anything. So we're going for falcon. And when we go for falcon, we're just gracing it. One. So we've got 10 and then. 10 falcon to the pad. Now we're going to do 10 underarm catch. So 10 like this. Ten like that. Now what we're going to do is an alternate two strike. But we're going to close it for everybody listening and watching as well, Mark. We're going to close it. So we're going to close the hand. So keep the hand in one hand, a close two. So you notice. So you notice I'm twisting. I'm twisting. I'm not stepping forward, wasting time. I'm not stepping forward on my right. Then swapping, stepping forward on my left. I'm not wasting time like that. So now we're going to do alternate two strike but long. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> seven, eight, and then nine, and then ten. Now we're going to go cross strike. Let's go. One, two, three, four. And it's, in the, it's in the beam again. Five. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Because I've got a little beam here, and I keep hitting it because I'm at home. Got a beam. <laughs> anyway, so we get into that. We're getting a few strikes in there, getting the fitness going, getting the blood moving, getting all the joints moving, and then you learn a bit as well. And you're putting yourself under a bit of pressure because when you put yourself under a bit of pressure, like when I was teaching the jujitsu, we're doing some throws the other night. Put it under pressure and they work well. Because you when somebody fights you when you're sparring, when you're doing this, when you're doing the combat, 
you're under pressure because they're trying to hit you. They're trying to hit you. And if they're trying to hit you, you're under more pressure. And so you want to put yourself past the limit. Think about that because when you, when you fight or when you're doing it on the pad, if you're just doing this, there's no pressure so you want to speed yourself up so that when someone someone's attacking you with the helmet on and you've got the sport on check and combat going that you're under that pressure and you know you can act under pressure so push yourself on the drill combat on the bag push yourself on the nunchaku fitness we're going to get some more we're going to get it in the gym next time we're going to be in the gym we're going to do some press ups we'll do all different types of moves uh, next time we do the nunchaku fitness guys it's been great I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. I love every time I come on live and do these, these, this Chuck's training. But what you've got to do, guys, as well as possible, like, share, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All the links are below. See you next time and have a great day.